Over the past few months, I've seen tons and tons of iceberg videos pop up in my recommended. I don't know what made YouTube think I'd be interested in such a thing, but they were right. I've watched videos about YouTube, I've watched videos about the dark web, I've watched videos about Kanye West. Hey, good morning, Kanye. Shut the fuck up. And so I decided, you know what, I'm stealing this video idea. So I went to the iceberg chart subreddit to find a chart that wasn't already covered, and that's where I found the XXX Tentacion iceberg. Now, this was made by a guy called Half Control. I'll put his YouTube channel in the description. If I remember, he said he's also gonna make a video about this and he's basically the guy who constructed this whole chart. So for those who aren't too familiar with icebergs, it's a chart that shows the most known stuff at the tip of the iceberg and the facts and other stuff get more and more obscure as you go down into the abyss. This particular chart has been split into four layers, so we'll start from the top and make our way down. Look at me. This was for the longest time X's biggest song and it was actually the song that put him on everyone's radar. Today it's his third most played song behind Moonlight and Sad. The beat was produced by Rojas and Jimmy Duval. It was actually made for a different artist but that person went to jail so the beat was up for grabs. So X took it and went to the booth for 15 minutes and made the song. The song was released in 2015 on SoundCloud, but it didn't end up getting traffic until about 2017. It currently has 93 million views on Elevator, 193 million plays on SoundCloud, and 493 million views on X's YouTube channel. Ski Mask Ski Mask or Stokely Clevon Gulbron Jesus Christ was arrested for drug charges and that's how him and X met. They were friends in and out of juvie and they actually ended up transferring to the same high school. While they were friends they joked about rapping and they actually ended up in the same rap group twice. The first one was very rare and the second one was members only. Now obviously none of these groups lasted but throughout X and Ski Mask were close friends and they both ended up leaving and starting their own rap careers. Their most popular song together is Take a Step Back. It was on the Free X album in 2017 and it currently has over 100 million views on YouTube. And in June of this year Ski Mask released another album called Sin City The Mixtape. I'm not too sure about how people feel about it. I've seen some people say it's amazing, and other people say it's terrible. So, I don't know. Go listen to it and come to your own conclusions. Distorted audio. Now, you don't have to be a crazy X fan to know that some of the audio quality on his songs <laughs> is terrible. But most people don't know that it's actually partially intentional. Because I've heard from some people that it's a little distorted, like the way, like the way that it's recorded is distorted. Very That's altogether. on purpose. As, yes. When X and Schema started rapping in high school, one of their friends had a snowball microphone and a laptop which had audacity. Now, I'm not a microphone expert. I don't do crazy research. I don't know about the best microphones. However, I can tell you for free, a snowball is probably one of the worst microphones out there especially for someone who's trying to do music but x and ski mask obviously weren't rich so they had to use it to their advantage it was like a snowball mic it was like the cheapest mic you could get it said on like three prongs audacity and like a laptop that's how we got distorted music we actually started making the distortion like to the best of our advantage so we use distortion in our music the drake beef yeah if you've known about X since around 2017, you probably know about his altercation with Drake. It first arose because of Drake stealing X's flow. And this was around the time when X was just coming up. And it was just around the time when Look At Me was blowing up. And Drake released a song called KMT on his album More Life. And if you listen to the two songs, they have a very similar flow. In fact, people have switched the beats and the song still sounds decent. If that makes sense, I'll play a clip right now. Studio right in my yard. Why that shit straight to the booth? How long I been on the street? Drake actually responded to this, uh, denying it, obviously, and he claims that he never even knew who X was and he never heard the song. So, I mean, we're just gonna have to take his word for it. Like the other day, you know, I dropped the song with Giggs, hmm. and I'm seeing all this shit on my on my IG hmm. under like some random picture of people being like, ah. Oh, you took this kid's flow or whatever, right? I, I just like, I'm just like, yo, it, it's crazy that people think that after all this time, after all I've been through, that I'm the type of person to go pre some 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 song that's on SoundCloud. It doesn't have like two plays, it mm -hmm. has plays, you know, he has his call following and go and think that I'm gonna like take that and make mm -hmm. it my own. And on top of all of this, X was apparently hitting on Drake's mom 
And if you know anything about Drake, you know that he does love his mother. So people say that Drake actually killed X because of this, but for now nobody really knows if that's true or not. His violent past. So it's basically common knowledge to know that X wasn't the most level-headed person when it came to arguments. Bro, I've been fighting since I was a kid. <laughs> In 2010, X went to Margate High School, and when he wasn't playing Xbox or PlayStation, he was beating the shit out of people. Now, this eventually led to him getting suspended, and then that led to him getting expelled. He usually fight for people who couldn't fight for themselves, but he admitted that sometimes he would just do it just to do it, and other times he would do it to get the attention of his mother. But eventually, his mother got stressed and just sent him over to his grandmother's house, and things got worse over there because it wasn't the best neighborhood. There'd be drug dealing and robberies and stuff, so stuff obviously got worse. Migos beef. In November of 2017, X was jumped by all three of the Migos. This happened after a series of Instagram stories of X basically going after Offset. He said he was fine with Takeoff and Quavo, but he had a problem with Offset in particular. Quavo the best rapper in Migos. The rest of your is irrelevant. Hey, matter of fact, no, take off, take, take off straight, take off straight. They, them niggas gonna be talking shit, Offset be talking shit, I don't know how they- And a few months after these stories, he gets jumped. Now the interesting part that people don't actually know is those weren't the Migos. In fact, X actually apologized to them because there were three completely different guys. Anime and gaming. Yeah, X watched anime and played video games. I don't know why this was put in the iceberg. There's nothing much to say about it. Uh, Rob Stone. Rob Stone is a 26-year-old rapper born in San Diego. His beef with X started because of Ski Mask. In 2017, during a tour, Ski Mask and Rob Stone got into a little bit of an altercation, which annoyed Ski Mask, which therefore annoyed X. Then tweets were sent back and forth, and Ski Mask was rushed by like five people while he was performing live. And then a knife was pulled out. I don't know if that's true or not. But then a few months later, the exact same thing happened to X. Except this time it wasn't Rob Stone. It was some assailant. Nobody really knows who it is though. The Weekend and Kurt Cobain. Yeah. I haven't heard X talk about his inspirations that much, but two people I know that he mentioned is The Weekend and Kurt Cobain. If you don't know who The Weekend is, you live under a rock. And if you don't know about Kurt Cobain, he was an American musician. He was the lead vocalist and guitarist in an American band called Nirvana. I feel like I mispronounced the name, but yeah. He actually died on April 8th, 1994, but people still talk about him to this day. He heavily inspired people like X and Kid Cudi. In fact, they've both gone as far as saying that Kurt Cobain saved their life. In a stream with DJ Academics, the guy who's probably announced, X said that The Weeknd and Kurt Cobain both saved his life, and he would literally cry if he got a feature from The Weeknd. There are only two artists that I know saved my life. That that made me the f that like made me the mind I am. That's Kurt Cobain and The Weeknd. Why the weekend? And not the current, not the current weekend. You have to go listen to his old shit. The weekend called you right now. You do, you, you're gonna do something. I cry, and I say, yeah. But, but for whatever reason, the weekend just doesn't respond to X. It's probably because of Drake. And now, obviously, that feature can't happen. Secret phone recordings. On the 25th of October in 2018, secret audio recordings of X resurfaced. In the recordings, it was basically X admitting that he physically abused his girlfriend because he thought that she was cheating. According to Pitchfork, the late rapper can be heard talking about assaulting his ex girlfriend and stabbing nine people. I don't know how Pitchfork managed to do this, but they managed to get a 27 minute tape from a county state attorney's office. And according to the office, both the prosecution and X's defense considered the tape a confession tape. And as I mentioned earlier, X referred to a stabbing incident. He said, I'm on new times for stabbing. How many people they put in the news? They said three, it was eight. Threats from the KKK. 
According to an article from Vibe.com, X was contacted by a member from the KKK via phone and he basically said that he's gonna hunt X down. And the look at me video didn't only piss off the KKK. It also annoyed people on Twitter because it's Twitter. Everybody hates each other on Twitter. Some people found it thought-provoking and socially conscious and other people thought it was controversial and insensitive. The kid from the Look At Me cover. Many people assume that X got the picture from Google or something, but this isn't just a random kid. It's actually a kid that X was friends with, even if the age gap is like 8 years. But the kid is called Kid Pronto, and as you probably guessed by now, the kid is fairly familiar with jail. The picture came from a group chat that X and Kid Pronto were in, and for whatever reason, Kid Pronto just sent that picture to the group chat, and X said, you know what, I'm gonna use it for the cover for my next song. Kid Pronto is actually a rapper right now. I can't say I'm the biggest fan, but I guess he's trying. Geneva. This was X's ex-girlfriend and she claimed that X physically and verbally abused her and this is actually tied to the secret phone recordings because for a very long time people thought that she was lying but X obviously admitted in the phone recordings that it was true. Heroin Father a while back, X used to call himself Heroin Father and no one really knew why. But I actually found a tape recording of him basically explaining what it meant. And according to X, it means a father of contradictive feeling. Okay, so why did you? I'm just a, fa I'm just a father of a very, uh, what's, the, what's, the, what's the word? I'm the father of a contradictive feeling. I don't know about you guys' understanding of this, but I have no idea what that even means. But X is known for being cryptic with the stuff, so... I can't say I'm too surprised. I've seen a few other people try to decode what it meant. When X says stuff like this, I always feel like the true meaning of heroin father was him wanting a lot more attention from his father, similar to being addicted to heroin, a crave for it. The Golden Beetle X has previously mentioned the Golden Beetle, but he never actually properly explained what it meant and what it was. Some people have said that it's related to spirituality, and others have said it's a book, but nobody actually knows what it means. However, a while back, a fan on Tumblr asked him what it meant, but he didn't answer and he said the info is too powerful, and he also said that the info will come to you. Someone also claimed that they found the Golden Beetle, and X replied by saying, be careful because there's demons attached to them. Now he may or may not literally mean demons, he could just mean like bad information but people have said teflon sean another rapper may be linked to it but x was very heavy on spirituality so this could have some spiritual meaning that not too many people understand i'd say i'm 90 percent sure that this has something to do with spirituality his old name i actually added this to the iceberg because i thought it was interesting it's a fairly short point but it's about the names that x had before x's x tentacion while he was in very rare trying to pick a rap name someone called the jam tweeted lol just say he doesn't have a stage name and x responded by saying i narrowed it down hashiyama master splinter tentacion and adicion i assume that's addiction in spanish and the jam responded by saying are you serious they're unique but do you really think they're good stage names and x responded by saying that he doesn't really care it's about what he wants Teflon Sean. On a helping hand, not a song, X gives a shout out to Teflon Sean. And you can hear him in the background talking about the Golden Beetle. And I've seen a Reddit post talk about Teflon Sean and is apparently satanic and has very dark tweets. Teflon was also close to Ski Mask in around 2017. And the link between Teflon Sean and X makes people think that X was into this satanic ritual stuff. And if you look at Teflon's Twitter, you can see old mentions towards X of drawings such as Baphomets and Triple Six references. Alchemy. Because of X's mention of the Golden Beetle and Teflon Sean, people think X is an occult. According to Google, an occult is involving or relating to mystical, supernatural, or magical powers, practices, or phenomena. I'm pretty sure X has even admitted that he studies alchemy and he's read The Master Key, which is a book by Charles Harnell about personal development. But the book is less literal and more about philosophy and spirituality. And, um, yeah. That's basically the end. This probably took a lot longer than it should have. This video has taken me three days to put together. And sure, it may not be the most in-depth, detailed video, but I basically try to highlight the most important points from the iceberg. And I know this is different from what I usually make, but I'm trying out new things because why not? Make sure you like, subscribe, check out my other videos if you want to, and I'll see you in the next one.